Here it goes. Ah! <laughs> Hello and welcome to Star Wars Galactic Battlegrounds Clone Campaigns and uh, we're gonna do single player we're gonna go to the Atichuri Basic Training okay so Atichuri Basic Training the civilizations of the Galactic Republic are extending their reach the Wookiee transport uh, Thalmus and penetrates the Alar Alaris expanse a uh, system of worlds along the outer rim bound for a liar's prime the transport carries villagers and warriors or all sharing hopes of colonization but others have designs for this world the nefarious trade federation plots to ravish Alaris and destroy anything that stands in their way okay we have um, moving and attacking transmission 0112 tk Location, Alaris Prime. Encoded to Jedi Council. Qui-Gon Jinn transmitting. An unexplored world is a hostile world. I must help the Wookiee leader Atichitok to learn the lay of the land. Only then can we find an appropriate place to settle. End transmission. We need to explore this new world. Follow Qui Gon Jinn's instructions to find the camp of Chewbacca's father, father Arichurik. Click on intelligence and records in the below for some information. Listen carefully to Qui Gon's instructions. If you get sidetracked, check midway down the screen for a reminder what to do next. Uh, think like a Wookiee. Be wary, but unafraid. Advanced tips: Keep checking this section for advanced gameplay tips as you continue the learning topic. If you want advanced intelligence on the lay of the land, check the reconnaissance back to see what spies and scouts have been uncovered. Since your party is the first to set foot on Lyra's Prime, the only exploring has taken place. But Shoran and Arichurik have uh, traveled ahead small ways. Follow the markers they have planted and you won't get lost. Okay. Before we unload workers and equipment, Chewbacca and his friend Shoran need to scout the area. Shoran has moved on ahead, but don't worry. He left markers so we could find him in this wilderness. First, click on Chewbacca. Now move ahead to the first marker by right-clicking near it. Good. I see another marker now. Let's go there. Click on Chewbacca. Then right-click near the next marker. Ah, do you see it? There's the next marker. In order to get to it, we'll have to travel through the black area. Right-click on the next marker. The black area represents territory you haven't seen. It clears up as Chewbacca moves towards it. I suspect Shoran is nearby. Move towards the next marker. <laughs> Shoran says he has found an obstruction in the path. It could be dangerous. We should stick together. To explore as a group, click near the units and drag around them. Good. Now right-click near the marker to the north. I see the problem now. Scroll north by moving your mouse to the top of the screen. Click on that tall structure to select it. That was a right click. You use a regular click to select something. Try again. <laughs> okay. It looks like a malfunctioning power core. This world is supposed to be uncolonized. If someone else was here, 
What drove them away? No matter. It's a hazard. We should get rid of it. Scroll back downward to your group by moving your mouse to the bottom of the screen. Select your explorers by clicking near them and dragging a box around them. Now, scroll north to the power core again, but this time, right-click on it to attack. Your units will advance across the map and attack the power core. Excellent work, my friend. Chewbacca's father, Atichituk, awaits us to the north. I can see one of his markers ahead. Let us continue. Keep following the markers until we find Atichituk. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he's already staking a claim. What's that? Atichituk smells trouble. Gundarks, they're attacking the camp! Don't worry, they're no match for Wookiee warriors. Click a warrior and right-click a Gundark to attack. Defeat them before they can tear down the camp. <laughs> Excellent fighting, my friend. The Gundarks must have damaged that power core and driven off its owners. We won't be so easily scared away. I have located a malfunctioning power core. Destroyed by a Gundark, sir. You will deal with these Gundarks, Ul2. Find them, skin them, and bring the pelts to our Trandoshan friends. Yes, sir. He has begun the journey of discovery that will ultimately transform him into a great leader. Give a Wookiee Bantha meat and he'll eat for a day. Teach a Wookiee to hunt Bantha and he'll eat for a lifetime. Gathering resources, including metal, food, Nova crystals and carbon, is critical to this colony's survival. I will endeavor to help Atichituk and his son Chewbacca to gain this capability. Learn how to gather resources with Qui-Gon's help. Gather 200 food, 100 carbon, 50 ore, and 50 Nova crystals. Stay near the uh, camp until Chewbacca arrives. If you don't want to, your workers caught fighting Gundark's loan. Don't let workers uh, stand idle. If they stop working, give them something else to do. Look in the lower right corner of the objectives button. This will tell you what you've accomplished and what you still need to do. Steps, click, click on the objectives button to remind yourself of objectives, intelligence, and reconnaissance data. A river cuts off from the east and an impenetrable forest blocks our path in the west. Luckily, we need, we need, need far to find the resource we need. The key to colonization is self-sufficiency. We'll begin gathering resources right away. We will need to gather 200 food, 100 carbon, 50 Nova crystals, and 50 ore. To begin, click one worker. Now, to begin gathering food from the Muja fruit bush, right-click on it. Now look in the status area at the bottom of the screen. If you have a worker selected, you can see how much food the worker is holding. The worker will keep picking Muja fruit until he is carrying 10 food. Then he will carry it to the command center and return to the Muja fruit bush for more. You can learn more by moving your mouse over any of the symbols on the bottom of the screen. You can also see a miniature map of your surrounding area. To remind yourself what your objectives are, click on the Objectives button 
on the far right side of your screen. When your objectives change, this button will flash to let you know. To gather food faster, select all your workers and send them to work by right-clicking on a fruit bush. You know, it's kind of weird. You can monitor your current stockpiles of food above the minimap in the lower right corner of the screen. You can also monitor your carbon, nova crystal, and ore stockpiles. You've gathered 50 food, which is enough to create another worker. See that large building? That's your command center. Click on your command center. Then click the Create Worker button in the lower left corner of the screen. Now watch the progress bar in the status area at the bottom of the screen. When the progress bar reaches 100%, your new worker will appear next to your command center. Another way to gather food is by shore fishing. Take your new worker and move him towards the river to the east. See those jumping fish? Select your worker and right-click on the fish. Your worker will start fishing and adding to your food stockpiles. Chewbacca should be along any minute. Until then, keep your workers gathering resources. By now, you should have enough food to create another worker at your command center. That should be enough workers to get the job done. If any workers are idle, the idle worker button will flash below the minimap. Click on the button to jump to any workers who aren't pulling their weight. Keep in mind that your workers aren't trained warriors like Chewbacca. They can be vulnerable to attacks from Gundarks and the like. When workers are in trouble, they can run to the command center for shelter. They can even shoot at invaders from the command center. Let's try a drill. Click on the command center. Now click on the Activate Alert Beacon button. Your workers will take shelter in the command center. Excellent. With the command center selected, activate the alert beacon again to continue gathering resources. You've got enough food. It's time to gather carbon. Carbon is used to create duroplast, which we use for building. Click on a worker, then click on a tree. The worker will attach an extractor ring to the tree and gather carbon from it.
You know, I never played the tutorial campaign. Ah, here comes Chewbacca. I sense trouble. Gundarks are approaching. Select your command center and activate the alert beacon to bring the workers inside. <laughs> That's plenty of carbon. You should begin looking for formations of nova crystals and ore. That was quick thinking. You can put your workers back to work now. While your workers work, you should send Chewbacca exploring. It's always a good idea to venture beyond the homestead to map out the territory and search for more resources. <laughs> you found ore. When processed, ore becomes duristine, which is used to make buildings and defenses strong. You'll need 50 ore to continue. Excellent. You found some Nova Crystals. These are a valuable commodity that is used as currency throughout the galaxy. You'll need 50 Nova Crystals to go any further. <laughs> You've gathered enough ore for now. You've collected resources like an expert frontiersman. Are you sure you haven't colonized a planet before? He learns quickly. I am most impressed. The wind carries with it the threat of an attack. My Wookiee friends have barely learned to harvest food, and yet now I must somehow teach them to create a militia. This will be a great challenge. Final Kwai Gunjin's instructions to build an army and wipe out the Gondarks. Then the intelligence and reconnaissance is about this, but offer more information. You'll begin with just enough uh, carbon to get started. Assign at least one worker to chopping wood. Explore the map, but be mindful of danger unless you are full, uh, a full complement of troopers. Remember, you can select multiple units by clicking and dragging a box around. Advanced tips. Uh, a single right click uh, is all it takes to attack an enemy. Those select units will keep attacking until the fight is over. You can double click on any unit to select on all on-screen units of the same type. The Gundarks appear to be coming from the north. Do not go too far in that direction without Chewbacca and a few warriors. These Gundark attacks will continue until we stop them. We must train warriors, then find and destroy the Gundark nest. But first we need more workers. Click on your command center. Now click on the Create Worker button. While your worker is being created, set your other workers to harvest food and carbon. Try creating another worker at your command center. It appears you've run out of housing. The command center houses five units. Every additional shelter you build allows you to increase your population by another five units. 
You need to assemble some prefabricated shelters. Click on a worker. In the lower left corner, click on the Buildings button, then the Build Prefab Shelter button. Then click on the ground, where you want the shelter to be built. Prefabricated shelter. <laughs> All right. Good. The more housing you build, the larger your population can grow. With all this construction, you're probably running low on resources. It's time to build up your food stores. I'll teach you about hunting and herding. If you've explored to the north, you'll probably run across docile creatures known as nerfs. If you haven't, you should explore in that direction now. <laughs> Good. You found some nerfs. You can select and move them just like workers. Move a few nerfs towards your command center. Now you can use your nerfs for food. Click on a worker and right-click on the nerf. You can gather food from certain wild animals too, but you'll have to chase them down first. Are we allowed to get down into an animal no soon? Uh, I think you are, you are, um... You're only allowed to, uh... Yeah. We need more workers. You don't have to train them one at a time, though. Click on your command center. Now click the Create Worker button four times quickly. Don't forget, you'll need to harvest carbon, too. Create a troop center to provide you with warriors. Click on a worker. Now click the military buildings button, then the troop center button. Yeah, I may need these nerfs for an animal mostly. Uh, they will provide me animal mostly. What can I power for? Yeah. Oops. Good. Now let's build some fighting Wookiees. Click on your troop center 
and click Create Trooper Recruit. Uh, please stop doing that. I'm gonna put them in the nursery now. That's one trooper recruit. Let's train a few more. First, you need to know about power cores. Your command center is self-powered, but other buildings require an external source of power to operate at full efficiency. Without power, buildings operate at only 25% efficiency. Click on a worker. Uh -huh. Then the build button. Then the build power core button. Then move your mouse over the map. As you look for a place to put the power core, you can see the radius of power that it will supply. Click on the ground where you want it to be built. Good, you have a source of power. By the way, is your troop center close enough to a power core? If you need to power your troop center, you should build another power core closer to it. <laughs> Shall we just uh, get the one left? Chewbacca is young and impatient for battle. You're almost done training warriors. In the meantime, you could explore some more or create and assign more workers. There's always something to do. You've got a solid fighting force. It's time to get rid of the Gundark threat. The Gundarks are on the other side of the river. Let us head north to find a crossing point. <laughs> Well, if you need more reinforcements... <laughs> that patchy section of the river is called a ford. Your soldiers can walk right over it. Ford. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the reboots are so slow. <sighs> Trooper.
Trade Federation battle droids. They're wiping out the gun docks. They're attacking. We must defend ourselves. Excellent work. The Trade Federation is a dangerous foe, and we certainly haven't seen the last of them. We have discovered our foes on this distant world. Our lessons are about to take a different path. We've gained knowledge of Trade Federation activity on Alaris. But where there is one battle droid, there is frequently an army. It would be unwise to provoke the Trade Federation with an attack at this juncture. But we will need to upgrade our defences in case they choose to provoke us. Parichoriki has been exploring. If he returns, we should remain at camp. But the resources and research new technologies. You will need uh, one new building, a uh, food processing center, or an animal nursery. 500 food before you can research the next tech level. At tech level 2, you can research and upgrade for your warriors at your troop center. Chewbacca is your strongest warrior. Take him along on any dangerous missions. Uh, any moving units will, st uh, will try to, uh, to reach their destination first before defending themselves. You may have to tell them to attack if they encounter an, an enemy en route. You can double click uh, on a unit and select on, on screen units of the same type. We know that there are more dangers on Alaris Ryan than, than we originally suspected. Arichurik is checking out the area and we will return with a report. We will return a report with a report. There are trade federation to be anywhere. We will need to research next tech level as soon as possible. We need 500 food and two buildings in addition to our trip center before we can advance. Collect 500 food and build two new buildings, then research to tech level 2 at your command center. Karichurik is gonna sorry all that this is the main Okay. Chewbacca and Arichurik must survive. We are in no position to challenge the Trade Federation Army. For now, we will concentrate on defending ourselves if they challenge us. First, we'll research basic training. Click on your command center. And click the basic training button. Research costs resources, takes time, worth the effort. Your task will be to determine what you can afford to research and when. If you click on a worker, you'll see they have a new armor rating in the status area. Your workers will stand a better chance when the enemy attacks. Put your upgraded workers to the task of gathering food from the Muja fruit bushes. <laughs> You'll need 500 food and two buildings from your current tech level to advance to a new technology level. Chewbacca's father has taken several warriors and gone scouting. While we await his return, we need to advance to the next technological level and repel any raids that the Trade Federation throws against us. It would be unwise to proceed before your warriors are stronger. I'm going to show you a few more ways to speed up the gathering of food. If you build a food processing center close to a source of food, your workers won't have to walk as far to deliver their food. Click on a worker, then on the Build button, and click Build Food Processing Center. Another source of food is farm. Have one of your workers build a farm.
When the worker finishes his farm, he'll begin harvesting food from it. You need only one worker to harvest a food. <laughs> BRM thirty eight. You can create a renewable source of food with an animal nursery. Click on a worker and have them build an animal nursery. If you have any nerfs standing around, you can herd them into your new animal nursery. Just select a nerf and right click on the nursery. Animals in your nursery add to your food stores over time. The more nerfs you keep inside the nursery, the more food you'll get. You've met the requirements to advance to a new tech level. Click on your command center, then choose Advance to Tech Level 2. <laughs> Chewbacca's father is back. He'll work his way back across the map. He says he spotted some battle droids lurking in the area. Halt, you are ordered to come with us. Battle droids. <laughs> Achichitok has been shot down. But wait, I sense the spark of life in him still. Stay calm. In moments, we'll be able to create a medic. Then we can find Achichitok and bring him back. Okay. Click on your command center and create a Wookiee medic. Mm. 
In addition, click on your troop center and choose Upgrade to Bowcaster Trooper. This research will make all your existing warriors more skillful. Now, assemble your warriors and your medic at the edge of town and go find Achichitok. You're approaching Trade Federation territory now. Stick together and expect an attack at any time. If any of your troopers are mad, you should take a moment to apply first aid. Click on your medic and right click on the wounded unit to heal them. The medic that is near a wounded unit will automatically apply first aid. <laughs> oh, my Take them down quickly. <laughs> <laughs> You found Chewbacca's father. He is critically wounded. We must heal him before he can move. Here we see of uh, 35 HP. Hello? He can move, but he is still weak. Beware of Trade Federation entanglements on the return trip. Okay. You probably want to explore. Okay. You should garrison Atichitik in your command center to keep him safe.
Select Atichituk. Click the garrison button. Then click on your command center. I sense another attack coming. Gather your forces and be ready. Destroyer droids. They're very dangerous. You'll need all of your forces to beat them back. Okay. The clouds of battle are mass. The leader of the camp, Atichitok, has been critically wounded in a Trade Federation ambush. Battlefield promotions are not easy to deal with, but Chewbacca handles the leadership role with a skill not often seen. He has decided on a perilous course, to show our resolve by raiding a nearby Trade Federation outpost. His hope is that they'll think twice before challenging us again. Defeat the uh, Trade Federation's army and destroy their troop center to the north. The Trade Federation is nearby. Be wary, but uh, unafraid as you scout the area. A diverse army is the best army. Normal troopers are very weak against buildings. Mounted troopers can tear them down much more quickly. Store uh, nerves uh, for quick food gains or replace them with nerves to slowly gather more food from them on the long term. Choice yours. I rather um, we know we now know that Dundarks will be these five worlds. Trade Federation force appear to have arrived ahead of us. We'll need to explore the map to find out how to get to come. Start by creating workers. We have enough food now to make a dozen more. The more workers we have, the faster we can gather resources. Trade Federation politics. And subtle blend of thievery and cowardice. They are interested in quick profit, not an extended battle under the watchful eye of the Senate. Chewbacca wants to show them that Maris Prime will not be won cheaply. If we positioned ourselves near a portion of their land, we're going to strengthen our forces and wipe them out. <laughs> you should create a food processing center near your Muja fruit bushes. <laughs>
Now you can make farms, too. Build them close to your command center, food processing center. Chewbacca will need some help defending your workers. Build a troop center and begin producing bowcaster recruits.
Now you can begin exploring. Don't go too far until you created more recruits to protect the home front.
As you explore the map, you'll find good places for your workers to build sentry posts. Sentry posts keep an eye on parts of the map. They're even more effective at higher elevations. Let me show you another source of food. First, have your workers build a shipyard by the water's edge. Placing a shipyard can be tricky. Look for a spot with mostly water, but with a little bit of land. You built a shipyard. Do you see those jumping fish? They're too far out for your workers to catch. You've got enough food to advance to the next tech level at your command center. There are other buildings to speed up resource gathering too. If you build a carbon processing center near your woodcutters, they can bring wood to it instead of your command center. You can also build processing centers specifically for Nova crystals and metal. Click on the shipyard and select Build Utility Trawler. Your shipyard needs power to operate efficiently. If you haven't built a power core near the water, you should do that now. Tech Level 2 provides even more ways to gather food. An aqua harvester, like a farm, is a renewable food source that occasionally has to be rebuilt. Select your new utility trawler and right-click on the jumping fish to begin gathering them. There are faster ways to explore the map, too. Have your workers build a mech factory. Make sure it's in the radius of a power core. Now build a couple of speeder bikes. Speeder bikes are weak in combat. They greatly speed up exploring and reconnaissance. Take it for a spin and uncover as much of the map as you can.
You've uncovered a lot of the map. The Trade Federation must be on the other side of the river. Now I'll show you how to cross the river. Select your shipyard and build a transport ship. Now grab any speeder bikes you built and right-click on the transport ship. Come down to the water's edge and board the ship. Found a good area to unload your troops. To unload your units, select the transport. Click the unload button, then right click where you would like to unload. Now explore some more. If you find trouble, keep moving. Speeder bikes are best used for exploring, not fighting. Found the Trade Federation camp. Build some more troops at your troop center. You'll need a dozen or more troopers to succeed. If you build a second troop center, you can also create troops there to build your army faster. At your troop center, set a gather point for your troops down near the water. You can even set the gather point directly on the transport ship. Troopers will be created, walk down, and board the ship until it's full. When you've ferried enough troopers across, attack the Trade Federation Army. I uh, should just uh, build. I should have just uh, built uh, the barracks here. Still <laughs> get this one faster. Well, this is a tutorial mission anyway. I never actually played the tutorial campaign. Okay, <laughs> right. whatever. Is it enough? Oh. 
because I have plenty of uh, raiders. I mean, mounted troopers. <laughs> I mean, they are excellent raiders. Don't get me wrong. They are fast and quickly destroy buildings. They quickly destroy buildings as much as anything else. making battle droids. Destroy their troop center to cut them down for good. Okay, yeah, you can just uh, get in there once they get out. <coughs> you can attack this if you, if you want. Lesson learned in battle is sometimes the most indelible. There are many realities in the universe, some of them quite harsh. But one reality that is inescapable is that there is nothing more valuable than a friend. More than food, more than shelter, and more than weaponry. An ally can save your life. Especially when fighting an enemy as despicable as the Trade Federation. Sharon has established a camp nearby. Once you found him, begin trading with his camp. Defend your village against Trade Federation attacks. Check your buildings for new technologies and units, especially when you reach a new tech level. Uh, you can replant a farm quickly by choosing a worker and right clicking on the depleted farm. Press the farm button if you are for pressing center to queue up multiple farms. When a farm is depleted, it will automatically be replanted. To create five units at a time, hold down shift and you click on create button. To save a group of uh, uh, oh, to create five units at a time, hold down shift and you click uh, create button. To save a group of selected units to memory, hold control and press a number key. Then you can recall that group by just hitting the number key. Shoran appears to have found a relatively safe area. If we find any Trade Federation forces, however, we must wipe them out completely. The Trade Federation has pressed on despite their losses. Alaris Prime must be a rich world indeed. You have one thing that the Trade Federation does not. Allies. They have great resources and large armies, but an ally is valuable beyond measure. I'll show you how to find and interact with allies. Put your workers to work while I explain. First things first. Have your workers build a spaceport. With a spaceport, you can trade with your allies. You can also buy and sell things from off-world brokers. Shoran has set up another camp a short distance from here. If you click the diplomacy button on the lower right corner of your screen, you can see Shoran listed as an ally and the friendless Trade Federation listed as an enemy. The choices you make on this screen determine whether your troops will fire on the units of another faction or help them out. <laughs> Eight, <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Very useful upgrade available at your spaceport is the Holonet transceiver. Start researching it now. The Holonet transceiver lets you see whatever your allies see. This opens up areas of the map that you'd otherwise have to explore yourself. Now that we know where Shoran is, we can start trading with him. Select your spaceport and build a cargo hover ship. Now, select your new cargo hover ship and right click on Shoran Spaceport to send your hover ship there. You'll have to scroll across the map to find Shoran Spaceport. It looks just like your spaceport, but it's a slightly different color. An ally's gate will open up when you get near it. I'll tell you more about gates later on. Your cargo hover ship will keep traveling back and forth to your ally spaceport. On every return trip, some Nova crystals will be added to your stock. You can send multiple cargo hover ships on any given trade route. Sean tells me he found something of interest near his camp. A Jedi holocron. A holocron is a priceless repository of ancient information. It should not be left lying in the wilderness. We need to build a Jedi temple to house the holocron. 
Jedi Council has just granted us approval to build a Jedi Temple on the Maris Prime. Have your workers build a Jedi Temple now. Now, select the Jedi Temple and click Create Padawan. Padawan Apprentice, Obi-Wan Kenobi. He still has much to learn about the ways of a Jedi Knight. He can, however, retrieve a holocron. Send your Padawan to Shoran's camp to grab the holocron. I'm ready, Master. I yes, humbly master. obey. Good. Now send. Wait. Shoran has spotted an excursion of Trade Federation troops. Garrison your workers and ready your fighting Wookiees.
Send your Padawan back with the holocron. I am I'm your ready, master. Select your Padawan and right-click on the holocron to pick it up. Thank you, master. Build several more military units too. We'll need them for future attacks. Shoran has asked for some Nova Crystals to help him recover from the Trade Federation attack. He warned us of the attack. It's the least we can do. Open the Diplomacy menu again, using the button on the lower right-hand corner. Then click on the Nova Crystal button to tribute 100 Nova Crystals to Shoran. Shoran thanks you. He's tributing us some spare metal in return. Make sure Obi-Wan brings the holocron to your camp. But where is Obi-Wan? I don't see anyone. I don't see Obi-Wan here. Only a human problem. I am your humble servant. I'm ready, Master. Excellent work, my friend. Master? Master? Great work. We will directly benefit from the Holocron secrets. It slowly adds Nova Crystals to your stockpile. Joran's scouts have discovered an array of Trade Federation listening posts. They are wary of us, keeping tabs on our progress. Chewbacca suggests we show them our progress by destroying their listening array. I am your humble servant.
Master? <laughs> I'm ready, Master. I am your apprentice. I think it's on the other side of this. Uh... If 
won the day again. Chewbacca's strategies are bearing fruit. I sense a war coming. War on our strong. The Trade Federation does not compromise. They will encompass an entire planet without thought of any of the creatures that they need to force out. All or nothing. Chewbacca has wisely decided that we must adopt the stance of our enemy to defeat them. Therefore, Chewbacca has decided that the Trade Federation will have no place on Alaris Prime. We have found the source of Trade Federation activity in Alaris Prime. Build a strong army and destroy the Trade Federation filters of the moon. Make sure that all of your heroes survive the battle. Every problem has multiple solutions. It's, it is very likely that there is more than one approach to the Trade Federation's fortress. It can garrison units inside turrets and fortresses as well as command centers. Jedi can convert some enemy units to be allies. The Jedi press on the C key and right click on the enemy to convert it to your side. If your buildings are damaged, you can use a worker to repair them. Workers can repair most of mechanical units too. You can save your progress at any time. Press F10 to access the save and load the mix. Our scouts have discovered the Trade Federation Fortress built at the west of the mountain. They are likely to have a strong army there. We must build a strong for rookie army to defeat them. All heroes Chewbacca, Sean, Ari, Chippet, and Qui-Gon must survive. Destroy the Trade Federation Fortress to the north. I've asked the Jedi Council to allow me to fight them. They have agreed, on the condition that you create a fortress. We must advance to a new technological level to create a fortress. Then we can destroy the Trade Federation's fortress and chase them off of Alaris Prime for good. Shoran has helped us wall off our camp, but we must complete the job. Use your workers to build a medium wall in the gaps. See the buttons representing resources in the lower left-hand corner? You can buy and sell resources using these buttons. The number on each picture represents the going market prices to buy and sell these resources. You can even click and drag on the ground to build several wall sections in row. Be careful not to wall yourself in, though. You should build a gate in one of the larger gaps. Gate allows your units to come and go, but keeps enemy forces out. The Trade Federation will be testing your defenses on a regular basis. It is best to stay prepared. Have you tried building turrets? They're tough, and they will fire automatically at enemies. Have you built a war center yet? It's well worth the cost. Mm -hmm. 
You should be building toward your next tech level. Click your command center to find out what you need to advance. <laughs> Where's <laughs> Flygon? Oh. Attitudeuk is fully healed and ready to join the fight. I should very much like to join Chewbacca and Atichita on the battlefield. But I cannot until you build a fortress. It's a lot to take, you know. Let's see. Uh, I'm not touching. I don't see much. Uh... Yes. It should uh, not get stuck on yourself. Did you know that you can garrison a few troopers inside a turret? Troopers will be protected and will give your turret extra firepower. Uh, again. That's a lot to take. You should be building toward your next tech. Click your command set. Find out what you need to advance. Yes, Pygon, but I need some more health. I need some blood first to get on the resources. I got one glow. That's really bad. <clears throat> Oh, 
power point. You have what you need to advance to the next tech level. You should do that now. Okay. Let's do this. War Center gives you numerous upgrades to make your troops tougher and more effective in the field. Early division tracking and spoils. I could actually just uh, go by and sell, to be honest. I can uh, be extra prepared with, with anything. Three. You should experiment with the advanced buttons for your units. Click on a single trooper to see the advanced buttons. For example, the aggressive stance lets a unit chase enemies across the map. That's the default stance for new units. The defensive stance lets a unit defend itself without being drawn too far into trouble. If your forces are spread thin, you can use the advanced buttons to put a trooper on patrol. If you select several units at once, you can use formation buttons. For example, a box formation makes your stronger units surround and protect your weaker ones. Yeah. You probably have to do that those. Another mech factory, but this one is so large, it's a factory. No doubt. I need more workers. Okay. You've made it to tech level three. At this stage, your options for both offense and defense become numerous. You'll find there are many benefits to building a fortress. You should build one now. Okay. 
Incoming droid starfighters. Steal yourself for an attack. They appear to be scouting. They will certainly return for an attack shortly. You can now build missile turrets to fend off air attacks. Be wise to do that right away. <laughs> You can also build your own air base. Then you can fight the droid starfighters on equal terms. Oh, that sounded good. Food again, food. Try sure to do without food anyway. A fortress. I shall arrive shortly. The fortress allows you to garrison almost any unit. It also rains heavy blaster fire on nearby enemies. It increases your population capacity. And it's pure ore. Yeah. Okay. It's Food. Food is so so long. I'll play against taxi. Oh, <laughs> will guide us. I spotted some strange starships on the way in. I believe the Trade Federation has sent slavers to capture the Wookiee population. You should build more missile turrets to defend different areas of the camp. Your fortress can create fierce and fearless Wookiee berserkers. May the Force be with you. That's not good. I serve only the force. Getting hungry, speak of food and getting hungry. Mm. Alright. 
hoping we, we can get a research center. Get research tracking computers for some reason. To make it uh, to make it really good. Is everything it takes a little bit of time. Can I get a uh, no Jedi Temple and no Jedi Temple? Just have a weapons factor. Heavy weapons factory lets you create artillery and other units to do damage at a distance. fighters and bombers, as well as air transport ships to move your units across the map quickly. Careful, if an air transport is shot down. The units inside will perish. Yep.
Interesting. We have finished studying the holocrons Shoran found. It speaks of an ancient grove nearby. Stop, let's stop the I'll report back if you find anything. Try to be really slow. Can I turn this one into uh, fast? No, normal. Okay. That's why it's really slow. <laughs> Okay, so here it is. <laughs> there are turrets nearby.
We don't have to advance the form. Let's see. the Trade Federation Fortress. To win this battle, we have to reduce it to scrap.
You've done it. My gun, Jim. Trade Federation has lost its footing on Alaris Prime. Wait, there are those strange ships again. But a minus setback. He will see you again. The price will keep help isn't getting any lower. Okay. I have taught all that I can. He is ready to take his place in the galaxy. May the Force be with him. All right, so that's the basic trick. See you next time for the more for the next video. Thank you for watching. And yeah, take care, everybody.